Welcome, wanderers, to Widow Walsh's workshop. We're here on Widow Walsh's workshop. Well, Willie, what you want? Well, wanderers, we're working on the solar racking system. That's right. So what's going on here is, so far, everything that I have for this solar system I have purchased from Facebook Marketplace. That place is the bomb. So I got all this strut here. Um, I got like, I got a screaming deal on this strut. I don't know, I think I got like 17 10 foot sticks of this for like um, 200 bucks or something like that. So anyway, what's going on here is all these these cross these this the ones that run this way represent the ribs here on the bus okay so these right here are the ribs in the bus the hat channel you know that we that we welded um for the roof raise but what's going to happen is i'm going to drill through that hat channel up on the roof send a piece right now this is what i'm thinking about anyway this is we're in the design process here so let's talk through this okay wonders so what we're going to do is we're going to drill through those hat channels through the roof with some all thread okay and then the all thread is going to come up through this bottom these cross members that go across the length of the bus so this basically is sitting the way that it'll sit up there on the bus itself so of course it's not going to be this long i'll have to cut it off but right now i'm trying to figure out the whole patterns of this all through you know of this um, of this what is this strut they call it unistrut so i'm trying to figure out the whole patterns for this unistrut because right now the way that these ribs lay out i'm not really hitting all these center holes very well so i'm either gonna have to stagger this stuff or um drill it i'm not really sure yet there's certain there's a bunch of connector pieces you can get for this uh, unistrut stuff so once i figure out the first plan of it um we'll continue on with trying to figure out how we're going to connect it all together but i feel like this is the this is the grid system that I want up there on the roof. Now, I'm going to grab a couple of these solar panels I got from Facebook Marketplace and drop them on here. So, I'll stay tuned. All right, Wanderer. So, there. I've got three of these panels set up on here. These are 250-watt panels that I got used on Facebook Marketplace from a guy in... Uh, brown county indiana who somehow found deals on these things and he's always got them he, he apparently solar fields have to decommission their panels after five years or so many years and switch them out to new but they still have you know 15 20 years of life left in them before they're completely degraded so he sells them at a quite a cut rate so i got i got these panels here there were um I don't know if it's a good deal or not, but it was 140 bucks a panel, which I, for 250 watts, I feel is a pretty good deal. And I got, I think I got six of them. But this is what, you know, as it sits right here, the spacing of these rails are what I actually have up there on the top of the bus. So in between my largest stretch of unimpeded roof area where there's no fan or safety access latch, this is the biggest spot I've got. So I can only get three panels in there. So I'm going to have to find another couple spots up there to where I can get the other three panels. So I feel like I can probably get two more up on one on, on a section up there. And then maybe one in the front, but right now we're just kind of in the figure it out stage. Now I know you could probably 
uh, draw all this up on a sketch up or something like that but you know sometimes the best if you have all the material your best policy is just to lay it all out and mock it out in real time that way you can see how everything interplays with everything else so right now we're moving along but there's some of the panels they look pretty good don't they all right stay tuned okay wanderers we're up on the roof so that first section I was talking about is gonna go right behind that fan. You can see there's some of the rivets right there for the rib. Right behind that fan, all the way over to this safety access right here are those first, those first set of cross members. So I'll be running that uh, strut across the bus here, drilling down through here and all threading all that up and then i gotta seal that somehow with a bunch of goop of some sort so there are the first three now that we're up here i can take a closer look let me get up here without killing myself there we go i'm on the roof oh we're on the bus okay so there's the emergency exit now i think i can probably get two more panels in from here to the back if I eliminate that um, strobe light which we're not using anyway and it looks like it's actually got a bunch of condensation in it so it probably leaks so yeah we're probably gonna have to eliminate that anyway so from here over to here is let me just measure this so we've got another we'll probably go to that we've probably got another five foot nine five foot eight and i can connect to uh one two three of these ribs okay so five foot eight remember that wanderers we'll go back downstairs and measure out a couple so i think i can get two more in there and then that would leave us just one and this thing right here goes to absolutely nothing it's a vent. Um, I think this was another strobe that the old owners uh, took out. So I might just eliminate that too, put a piece of sheet metal over that and uh, clean all that up. So I think I can probably get another, I got five feet right there. So mm, this strut right here is gonna be pitching pretty close to this sure about that one but I can probably get the last panel in, up in here I don't think I want to go on this lower section with the uh, solar panels because I want to be able to tie them all in together either with parallel or series I still got to figure that out and then underneath here right in this area right around in here is the utility room that where all those wires go and that's where our, our uh, all of our charge controller and our solar uh, setup is going to be right down in there so that's where I'm going to want to put a they call it a gland or whatever they, the wires go down into it so so there it is so the goal is to get that up there and then I got to figure out I'll probably have to get rid of that and get rid of that and then we'll put another little bit of racking up in there and another little racking back in here and we should be able to get the rest of those solar panels which are right there i think there's three more up on this roof so stay tuned well wanderers since i had this uh these panels out and it's kind of sunny it's not completely bright sun it's a little overcast but i just wanted to test some of these panels because uh you know i haven't tested them since i got here but they're supposed to be putting out 35 volts at full power and this panel right here is now running at 34 volts in the kind of the half hazy shade so that is a good panel that's encouraging so you take your multimeter and you head on over to the next one and it has these two leads on it one of them has the red and one of them has the uh, black and you take your multimeter and you stick your red in there, boom. Okay. Then you 
stick black in the other side, which is the cool neutral. Uh -oh. 33.6. Not bad, Wanderers. Let's check this last one. Like I said, it's a little hazy out here, so it's not going to be running at max capacity. So let's see here. Try to get the multimeter in view. We'll stick that maybe up in there. Okay. And we'll bring this one over here. It's hard when you're trying to film in. Stick little things and little things. Oh, here we go. Uh, it keeps coming close. This one keeps coming close. 34.9, 35, boom, max. And we're actually getting some sun. Oh, it went up to 37. So in full sunlight, these things are performing over their rated capacity. So that's good. Who's that? I think Hot Sauce 2.0 is coming out and he's, no, it's Mama. Welcome, Wanderers, to Widow Walsh's Workshop. Well, here on Widow Walsh's Workshop, we'll whittle you what you want. Well, Wanderers, we're up on the roof and we're trying to figure out this um, solar racking system. So I've got kind of a system going on here. I'll try to zip, zip, zip this thing around and show you what I got going on. Okay, so, so here we go. I've come up through the roof with a, this, this one right here is a half inch by seven inch uh, all thread, but it's in a bolt. So it has a bolt on the bottom of it and I put a washer on it and then I stick it up through the roof and then I put down a washer, lock washer, nut thread that down okay that's underneath all this goop right here that's my temporary waterproofing then i put down one of these magnetic square washers which i have right here that come with the you know you can buy them for the strut so they're just like magnetic square washers so i put one of those down and then i put down a regular washer a lock washer and a nut and i thread all that through the the um, the super strut here and it's pretty freaking bomber so i'm doing that on every one of these ribs right here so this one i've already got in i kind of put a half-assed coat of paint on it just to kind of see what was going on for rust but as you can see right here, I mean, I'm, I'm putting a lot of weight on it. And so that's kind of my system. I found center line on the bus and I come off of center line 30 and a quarter to my hole and the same over here. And then I just drill down through and then I drill up from underneath, bore it all out and slide those in. And that seems to be really it's really strong so stay tuned here's how i do the underside wanderers I just push that right up through there and then suck it all up so right here. when i put it in i use i use this blue tape to kind of hold it up and then after after this one's been sucked up after it gets sucked up it's it's up in there so that's where uh that's where those bolts come down through. As you can see, they come through this hat channel right here. So that's extra beefy for the solar racking system. Okay, Wanderers. So I bought this roll of bitchathane tape here. Okay, here's my penetration through the roof. Now the first thing I do is I take a little bit of this 
this bitch thing tape and I just butyl I guess they call it and I just smooch it all in there like that right okay this is the first the first line of defense okay let's get it up in there just so that it kind of seals that hole then I have this butyl this was uh, something that I bought to fix the gutters. So it's basically got, it's it's a butyl tape with that shiny metal backing. So I cut a little piece of that and I put my half inch hole in it. And then I take that and I slide it over this. I think, cut it kind of tight here. Hard to do with one hand. There we go, get down in there. Oh, come on now. So, I slide that baby down in there. Okay, kind of make that flat right up in there. This is my second line of defense for the leaks. All right, now take my flat washer. All right, I take my split washer. washer maybe some people call them then I take my nut and I thread that all the way down there okay I'm gonna have to turn it off okay that's all the way down there then I put one nut here and I take this washer for the unistrut that's magnetic and I slide that over there now this right here is the way I can adjust the height of this railing so then I take my strut and it should be in the fourth hole I put it over there and as you can see I've got the same thing going on on this side boom put that in there and then I explained how I do this other side already I do uh, flat washer, lock washer, nut over that. And I cinch all that stuff together. And I cinch the crap out of this right here until that sucks up from underneath and the butyl actually starts coming out these threads. And then I wrap the thing again in butyl, um, this butyl tape, just as the fourth line of defense. And then I take the butane torch and I heat this stuff up. And this stuff pretty much turns into a liquid because all it is is a petroleum based rubberized crap. So then that heats up and I just smear that all down so that it's super tight. And, and then this penetration is watertight right now but I've also ordered some boots that go over the top of this and they come around here and I'll screw those boots in flat and, and cock that all in and that'll be my final line of defense. So that's why I haven't, I, these, these aren't exactly all lined up level yet because I've got to take them all off to slide that final boot down on here. But once I get those boots there, I got them ordered. Once I get those, lined in I can I can string line this all this whole run here and uh, then I'm gonna set um, I'm gonna set some more unistrut going on this way to collect the panels because the panels are gonna sit the same the panels are gonna sit in the same direction as these so I'm gonna need some joists basically that come across here to collect those panels but you'll see that later on